Hey, it's Dan Larson here for ADSR. In this video tutorial, I would like to show you how to make a very nice crudexy kind of FM80 tone uh, grow sound in Serum, which is pretty impossible because Serum has its own tone, Serum has its own characters, own effects, uh, own generators, which is very different from, for example, FM8 or Operator, what Scrudex used to make his own growth, his very signature sounds. What I want to do here is this sound. <laughs> It's a very nice Crudexy sound, and what I did here is made the wave table out from Serum. You would ask yourself, why would we need to make the grow in Serum when it is a lot easier and a lot more accurate to create a grow in FM8 or Operator? Now the answer is here. Let me show you how long this effect chain is. So as you can see, we have tons of effects, which is very heavy on the CPU, and it is very heavy to, you know, use it in a song. It is a lot easier to have only one synth. So I would recommend you to follow this. Maybe I can give you a few ideas to create your own sounds. Now, before we jump into it, into the Serum preset, which is, well, I would say very simple. I would like to show you how to make the wave table. And what I want to follow here is the idea to create the pure wave table and give the articulation and the modulation later. I didn't want to create the full articulation, the full movement on the wave table itself because you know it will ruin the sound. Uh, this is not what we want. We just want to have a pure wave table which contains some very nasty tones and we want to add the articulation, the effects, and you know, which makes the sound very. Uh, you know you want to make your sound customizable. So this is what we want to follow. And first I want to show the wave table. So this is a very simple operator preset here. I use the wave, what I modulated with operator B, which is a random kind of signy wave. And I modulated it with operator C, which is a wave table with very hard harmonics of that, as you can see what I draw here. And uh, I also modulated with another sine wave. At this time, of course, two. And I use this algorithm, which means that we are using operator A, which is modulated by operator B, and B is modulated by two operators at the same time, which is B, D and C. So this is a pure waveform. I mean, this is a pure preset. So it is very simple. Now let's add the effects. Uh, I just wanted to cut the lows. Added the, I added a phaser. Let me just, you know, mute all the effects. Okay. We are giving the phaser to make the sound a little deeper. It doesn't give too much. The HP filter is needed to create the articulation, as you can see, as you can hear. This will give us the articulation. I also use a dimension expander rack, what I made like a year ago, which contains some frequency modulation on both the sides. So let me show you frequency shifter. And what is very important here is this rack, where I separated the left and the right channel, and I added a frequency shifter only on the right channel, and I let and I left empty the other one. And this will create some very nice wobbly kind of sound to it. Let me show you. So this is the very first thing what I wanted to add to make the sound a little more, well, wobbly. And also a chorus. So as you can hear, it's not very digital. It turns the sound into a more organic way. To so what it is, a multiband compression. So these are pretty basic stuff. Some EQing to cut out all the frequencies what are not necessary and what just makes the sound worse. Especially on the highs. Another EQ to fine tune the sound. A little distortion a bit with a bit warmer preset on the saturator. Another OTT, multiband compression another multiband compression and two EQs at the end to make the sound a little more in the face. And also I have a macro which will modulate these parameters here on the operator, you know, like a waveform, like a wavetable position knob or something like that when we form the waveform itself. And we have the auto filter, the HP filter movement assigned to macro 1. Anyway, so I created this wavetable here, 
And what I want to do here, is let me show you just initialize the preset and let's drop the Skrillex table here. This time it doesn't really matter which input format you use or which input algorithm you use because you know it is a pure exported waveform because this is an exported wavetable from Serum itself. So this is the sound now what we're having. <laughs> something like this and what I want to do here is make an LFO to create some movement to the sound you know we are talking about a bass sound so we need lots of movements basically so let's create this wave table well this LFO shape and let's drop it on the wave table position knob and let's use it one bar length so something like that now what I want to do here is use a simple sine wave let's for example let's use this and uh, on mirror mode let's use this as an FM modulator on operator on oscillator A and let's use the same LED for movement to it but we don't need the level on oscillator B now what I want to do here is a band bass filter. Let's add some resonance to it and let's move the cutoff along with the other effects like uh, you know the wave position and the FM. Okay, this is already a very nice sound, but we need multi band compression to even out all the frequencies. Now this is a cool sound, but I want to add some distortion to it, especially on the diode 2. And let's push it up the drive to around well, this position, the diode 2, something like this. <laughs> Okay, let's add the phaser too. We don't want any movement on the phaser. And uh, let's pull back the frequency to about 50 Hz. The feedback to about like 11 o'clock. And let's use LE41 on the depth. Just make some nice movement to it. <laughs> Okay, there are some nasty frequencies here, what we definitely want to cut out, like at around 300 Hz or so. And let's make a movement to it, using LE41 again. Yeah, to make the sound less boomy. And in this stage I want to use the sub, because it is very important to have some sub on the sound because we're talking about a bass sound okay nice and now i want to use a filter too because the sound is well for me it is too dry and there is an old bass is filter here what I really like to make the sound a little noisier and a little more organic so this is what I want to follow now okay very nice and the hyper dimension to the end but this time I want to use only the dimension you know, to make the sound a little stereo wide.
Okay, so this is the method and this is very, very nice because we are having only one serum preset to create a very nice Skrillexy growl sound. And as you can hear, without all the effects, it is not the same. You know, it, it doesn't articulate. Oops. Without all the effects. So we definitely need some filtering and FMing on the sound. So there are plenty of stuff here to experiment with. I highly recommend you to do that. I hope you enjoyed this and see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.